played seven times with seven victories to their name on their choice. Starting on the team side of things, Carrigan's also been tagged out, but all kills are going the way of Mouse Sports. Rops with three with the Glock, leaving Nesta all alone. He is going to pick up two in return, but the bomb's been dropped, and Mouse Sports will pick up round number one. This is asking so much from the Norosso hemorrhaging players left and right. Chris J and Frozen both chip in with kills. Otto's fallen down as well. And this boss fight is going to yield very little in retaliation from Valiance. They're on the back foot already. Allowing Valiance any room to retake. Really trying to just close in the walls and suffocate them. So be on the lookout from, for that. A few times over the duration of this tournament. Dropping down onto the B site, but Otto. It's going to need to stand tall for his team. Wait for the rest of them to arrive. Bomb's been planted, but it's a 2 on 4 in favor of Valiant. There's a few nays to play with. Two incendiaries now picked up. And Vox is going to have to come down through the ramp. There's one. And Hunter has one of them. So it's going to render this Molotov forfeit. And it's not required anyway. Otto connects onto Voxic, and Valiant will finally get themselves around. Still fine, so pretty default, but Mouseports are definitely setting up for an outer attack. You can see the smokes being lined up now, but let me up close could disturb things, but not a frozen can get the better of him first. A site now starting to crumble for Valiants. They need someone to start to be a little bit back up brick by brick, and Hunter may be the man for the job. Next up, perched up on connector. Not required just yet, but now the smoke is gonna clear. The bomb has been dropped out into the open in a really awkward spot for Mouse Sports. The Rops not able to do anything in a one on three. Valiance will double up their round tally. Nice for the time being, but now the Molotov gonna start to clear. There is a smoke planted down elsewhere. Valiance getting the advantages under their belt. The bomb's been dropped by Otto. Back at CT and he's gonna double up. Very nicely done. He had a sterling performance against Mouse Sports earlier in this very tournament on Dust 2. Will give them a bit of firepower to play with. Their round losses starting to build up. This will now be four rounds in a row. This point in time. The rest of his team going to be coming Ooh. down. Speaking of the man, he has been picked off on Ivy as he tries to retreat back to T-Spawn. And with that movement, it does give Valiance quite a bit of information. It's why they've brought over a third player and they feel content to keep him here. Now the rest of the team's going to be filtering in. There's also another one in the form of Letney that is rotating around the back of them. Is he going to be required though? Because next uh, alongside Esperanto, Lock B completely down. He can take some players with him. All the better for it. He's gone down. He has got two players over on A. Now Frozen's going to barrel out of Pop Dog. They've decided to get the B hit. So far, so good. Three on two in their favor. We put an end to this seven round win streak. Voxic on the cross, nice shot. On to Nexa mid air. Otto can do very little, but slowly back away and try and save this orb. So Mouse Sports have broken the win streak. That's a solid call to, to call a timeout. If they've got a, a great half already, could get a whole lot better. Let's not let this get out of control, Voxic. Gets there just a step ahead of Esperanto. And we'll trip him over. And they just get the pick and they pull away and they keep Valiant's guessing. Yeah, outside of the set pieces, Triple Obby's probably their favorite thing to do. They don't actually default the whole hell of a lot on Mouse Sports. And Otto on the back of the site. Gonna go for a peek and hope for the best. Boxic has got a second kill of the round, not far off with the no scope. But Hunter, I was gonna say, if he can maybe turn the tides of this round. And him and Nexa could make something special happen. Mouse Sports are having none of it. CTs are trying to press the E box side, but he'll slowly creep out. It's on a razor's edge. Who's actually going to get it? But this inner push has been fruitful for Valiance. It's been traded back, though. Two of the star players for Mouse Sports have begun to shine. Pulling just outside of the clouds that were looming overhead for a while here on train. Hunter. He's going to be given the call to do just that momentarily because Valiant's now starting to make a move. Both sides of the bomb. The first shot does connect, but not enough to kill Chris J. There's a team kill in there, but they're not going to care because Frozen doubles up and Mouse Sports will have the lead at halftime, 8-7. Smoke's being deployed. One in the eyes of two Mouse Sports players on Ivy. That's really going to segregate Frozen from the rest of his team. They're going to be hoping he can pop some heads before he gets charged down, but Esperanto in first will strike and draw. First blood of the second half. And now Nexa, close range of the P250, just at the worst possible moment, jumps up. He's going to be able to recover thanks to Otto having his back covered 
Rops in the meanwhile, making inroads through. Pop Dog has already claimed one headshot, but he's piecing out of that. Valiance will be taking the second pistol. Stepping up when it truly counts. And speaking of the man, he is first in, taking those prisoners. But Chris J will jail him for the time being. Chris J not budging an inch. Watching the tight angle, Frozen is back at the site, but Chris J has gone down. That's a big part of the puzzle that goes with him. Now Frozen doesn't feel Ooh. very comfortable. What the hell was that flick? That's two kills in quick succession. The blink of an eye. He's turned this round on its head. He doesn't need any support at all. He's a one-man army, and he could be getting more. Not quite. But buys up enough time for Rops to get into position and strike onto Letney. Otto will not do any better. Frozen with those two kills, mm. so vitally important for Mouse Sports. All things considered, Valiant still, though, lead by one round. Rop's going to try and bring that back to a quality. And Voxic, and there is Chris J. Zorp, rings out across the battlefield, sending a shiver down the collective spine of Valiant. But Nexa going to battle through it. And so will Otto. Chris Jane out the back of the slide. has got to go massive. There's one. Missed out the second. Looked like the bullet went through him, but Rops again, as ever. Right place at the right time. Flashbang in. There's a double stack here. Rops is playing more aggressively. He got caught last round. Seems like they're thinking of that outer take. Plenty of nades will be pouring in, but can they find the opening? That has been the question on this T-half thus far. Who is going to get the upper hand? It's going to be Carrigan on the swing with the AWP. Rewinding the gears, Hunter last. Players remain on his side now. He's all alone. 20 seconds and probably just thinks about saving. There's yep. not going to be enough time for him to realistically get across to the B site. This time Rops playing very passive at the back of the site. We've seen him up on the ramp quite a few rounds. All clumping together. Let me close range, going to drop Chris J. But Carrigan again with the AWP. We'll finalize onto Esperanto. Half the timer left on the bomb. Mouse sports are going to have to get a move on. There's no Molotov in play for Valiant. They can't throw the Molly from the top. Another box falls, but Otto's going to try and spray him down with a Galil. The bomb's in an awkward spot. They're trying to jump up to get this one. And Vox is going to show himself. What a strange, scrappy round that ends up being. But Valiant will be the victors. Beat some really good teams to get here on this map. And again, this is one that Mass they look to sharp as well, but they're having their problems. Foxic, though. Yeah, this really could be a two for one. And at the finish line, could be one team stumbling when it really counts. Rops close range. There's an eagle in his hands. Gonna whiff, but finally does connect the shot point blank range. Frozen. Unable to get a full control over that spray. Oh, that shot does land, but it just legs Otto. He's down to 15. The HP certainly favors Mouse Sports. The positioning, Valiant. No grenades to play with, though, and Chris J is making the wraparound. There's the SMG kill. And now Nexa in all sorts of trouble. He'll be trying to back away with his AWP and relocate, but the bomb's not planted for him. He can't stop this. The full defuse is going to come in inside the smoke, and Mouse Sports will regain the lead. With Nexa just praying and hoping for the best. See if he can actually save the AWP, he can. But what a time for Mouse Sports to come alive. Have to keep it into consideration. They still do have some youngsters on the team, but speaking of which, now they have ladder control as well. A kill from Hunter up close on Frozen with the CZ. Chris J trying his damnedest to bring something back, but no one's giving him the opportunity. Now he's in a lot of trouble as well. He's got boxing for support, but they might get overwhelmed just by sheer numbers. And there's Chris J off the board as well. Pressure really mounting for Voxic. Can he hold on? Yes, he can. Oh, three kills in quick succession. And it could be a fourth, and it is. Somehow this man is held his ground by himself. Both players very much healthy. Plenty of time left for the bomb. Not a control for Otto. Oh, and no! he's done it! Voxic with a ridiculous clutch! So it really limits their options when you are lacking this much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now he's not missing. What a difference confidence Ouch. makes to us. Carrigan gets Otto. And Otto has won a lot of those fights on Ivy. And Carrigan taking the initiative, playing aggressively. Voxic now being forced, pushed back. Onto the CT side of sight. Chris J still up on the train. Esperanto and Hunter still have life for them yet, but it's been snuffed out. Mouthport going to win their choice of map. It wasn't straightforward, it wasn't easy, but they got there in the end. Oh. 
Rops with a drive by headshot onto Letney. Problem here for Mouse Sports is they don't have a kit or any grenades to retake. So he's going to have to come out with kills here and now. Chris J thought for a moment he's going to whiff his opportunity, but it's all headshots all day long on the side of Mouse Sports. Nexus picked up three, and he's actually put this into him versus Chris J on the cross, nearly lands the shot and the bomb. He's now getting defused <laughs> with the kit that was picked up from the cops. It's so sneaky, but the defuse is successful. And the icing on the cake is that Nexus loses his head. Window, Molly off cat, get up connector quickly, get those openings, but just could not follow it up. But they buy out all they can, they just rush out middle and they get two of the opening kills. So not a bad little force buy here so far from Valiance. Very clean as well, let me still an 86. A two for one trade. Valiant's now with connector control. Rosen's gonna try and take it away from them, but the FAMAS at that range not good enough. There's still 55 seconds left, Esperanto. And the bomb's taken so damn long to get planted. He's pretty close, but Esperanto onto Rops. Looking just for some mid control once again. This time Rops is gonna be the one with the scout. Not Boxic. Boxic trying to play close to the FAMAS. Delivers one, not another though. Good trade by Esperanto. The Nade count is so much more in favor of the T's. And now the body count is two. Chris J meets his maker. One player still lurking mid. It's going to be auto with the AUG. Just look, watching connector window and any type of cat flank. Good shot, though, from Rob. Well, hold on a second. I said surely this would be Valiant's round, but that rotation from Frozen gave him so much information. They may have just mind gamed themselves. They've just absolutely ravaged the chance for the free A plant. But Carrigan has been put down. Frozen just has to wait. Takes the bomb out. Now just hide. This round will be Mouseport. He's re -peaking. Jesus, Frozen, stay there. Now the bomb is going to get planted. But there's not enough time. And Mouseport, they've done it. Torn oh. salt in the wound. We'll get some breathing room. Frozen. Carrigan will move into a new angle. Chris J assisting him from Cat Boosted. Such a nutty crossfire they've got now because no one is coming through mid. They're all going to be going one by one out of Biaps. There was no hope for Valiant. Nearly punished, as you say, though. He managed to scamper away, but Otto with the SG. Two kills. I think Voxic may have died through Frozen. One four splits, but this is their bread and butter. And look at this move that Letney's making, by the way. He's run through market. He might catch Kerrigan with his pants down. Indeed, he does. That's a big kill. It gets them even more of an edge. Rops trying to fight back from A, does grab one. That bomb is going to make its way on to B. What a strange round does. Oh, this is... Chris, Chris J has gone short, and meanwhile, Nexa is in T spawn, so he walked past him. He was in Palace. Oh, they could try to split B with that one player in apartments, but the problem is, is that Frozen's peering over the smoke for two. Able to survive as well on 39, so it keeps his presence. In connector, Esperanto tried to flush him out. Maybe he can get the drop onto Frozen, who's relocated into the window. He's waiting to see if he can find a second play here. May even go for the knife, just to get some more money. Rest in peace, Frozen. Plus, of course, does add a little bit of salt back to it as well. Ooh, that shot, whiffing from CT boxes, very nearly cost them an orc, but Ops is there to redeem the miss. They are going to go for a little bit more of a mid-control approach. Trying to run through the smoke, though, and Voxic is going to have none of that. Excellent shot. Molotov, intentional, by the way, to stop the, mo the smoke that would fire into window. Gives him the opportunity to shoot. Oh, that's a good flick around by Nexa. Rops sent reeling. Did enough damage on his way out, though, for Chris J to easily pick up the event kill. Yeah, next to normally the outside A player for Vanish has a little bit aggressive that time. Gets the kill, and now the connector pressure is coming up on a three on three. Until Su TT's here defending, though. Timing for the players have the great out, but still connect the headshot. That flashbang, I think, was just a tad late. He needs to be a beacon of hope, and he's with the first shot, but won't be making that same mistake twice. A low hunter gonna proceed the push for. Valiant, but now Voxic, a man that's really turned his form around his best of three, is playing up close and personal, but his whiff shot is going to cost him his life, and Mouse sports the third round. Shadow guns up. Nice. A still could be taken. Nothing forthcoming from Valiant as of yet, though. They still have some grenades to play with, but Rops can see there's a lot of around the corner. There's the bomb down. Rops roping him in towards A. Player advantage 
in tap for Mouse Sports, but it's not quite as easy as it may seem. What a shot by Voxic, though. Esperanto around the corner has no hope. Let me. Let's try and take this round by the scruff of the neck. Esperanto headshot. Gonna replenish the smoking window. Find them up a little bit more time. Carrigan takes the initiative oh. and sprays two out of the round. They went for aggression. It's not quite paid off, but there is still an avenue of hope. Especially with an AWP involved. They all have kits, though, so that helps. But limited utility, and Otto's already taken one down. They might have to back off, honestly. They can't find a kill fast. Exactly. Yep. If they had another player, maybe moving up through Catwalk or mm. Biaps, and you could say, cool, go for it. But all together, now nah, there's no way. And Latney's called this. He's a step ahead of them. He could be stopping them from saving. He should have had that kill on Voxic, and he's going to pay with his life. But Valiant, they will take another round. That's going to be their fourth. 16 health, but should be mentioned that Mouse Sports Economy, they lose this round. They're into an eco. And they're getting pressed on once again. The Molotov just outside of Balcony is going to... Warm up their feet if Chris J doesn't kill them before they drop. Two kills to his name. Similar outcome to the round prior, but this time they do have a player getting up close. That's going to be frozen. That's the Why bomb. is the bomb there first? Why? Drop the bomb and push in. That could be the round lost just off that one play. Look how favorably that's dropped from our sports. They don't have to peek anymore. They don't have to worry about any pressure being applied because now Valiants have to push into them. They've got their crossfires established. They've got everything working in their favor. Esperanto doesn't even have a flashbang to push on with. That is such a mistake. It's such a crucial moment in this match. Catch Nexa here and get A ramp control. It's going to make it so hard for Valiants to feel comfortable pushing into A. It's a great entry on the rock, though, but that's the kill I'm talking about. And now Frozen can show his hand from Connector. AK-47, it's the headshot, there's the bomb. And the half will likely follow. It's a one on two. And Hunter's not gonna get it done. Mouse Sports with a commanding lead going through into the second half of the second map. A couple players up mid, but doesn't connect any shots. Which allows Carrigan to get up close. He turns his back. I assume he anticipated a flashbang from Ramp. Rops to the P250. Will be finalized. But the terrorists have been so thinly spread the retake. It's very straightforward for Valiant. They've got the second pistol under their belt. Flashbang up and over from Catwalk as Otto finds another org kill. It's shaping up nicely for Valiant, but there is two players moving past each other. On short, Chris J going to get the better of Hunter. Can now turn his attention onto the site. And a very important kill from Letney. If he falls down, the site would have been taken. He's gone down a little bit later, though. Assuming that Viaps have been pressed just yet, Rops singes Esperanto's head off. Ooh. There's another one. What the hell is that? What an angle from Rops. This has spiraled out of control for Valiant. It was looking so good with that initial mid aggression, but now Nexus left in just the one versus two. He's done some chip damage on Rops, but he's running out of time. The kit will give him a little bit more cushion. That's Kerrigan down. Can he find this next one? Rops holds on the post. He gets the kill. It was down to the wire, but Rops closes it out as he does best. And that op gets to retreat while the focus comes on A. They're trying to come out past. They're trading their way out a little bit. Important kill for Nexa can now turn his attention to Palace where he knows one more player resides. But Rops is going to shoot straight through the wooden beams. The bomb carrier would be doing that from inside Palace. So we'll see if that indeed takes place. Indeed it does. Otto's going to get flushed out. Flushed out, but no casualties as of yet. But now it's getting turned around onto Mouse Sports. Esperanto, Whoa. Hunter, and Otto all chip in for a frag. But there is a push at A ramp from Nexa that could give them extra information to rotate early. There's the bomb down again. AK 47s this time, so it's not an eco bash. It started well for Valiance, but it's starting to slip away. Voxic is going to make that more of a reality with his orb. Rops getting into position, but somehow Esperanto comes out ahead in that encounter. Looked like he was absolutely gone. Wiped off the server, deleted. One of these CTs is going to show themselves with the bomb down in this position. They have no reason to. And Otto is going to capitalize. So double digits for Valiant. Now, the barrel of the would have been protruding around the corner. Hunter at least will get the Avenge kill instantly. But the return is they're going to be pushing into Jungle. He was hoping that Shadow would have his back cover, and it's just horribly gone wrong. Might forfeit the one gun that could be carried over. And indeed, Rops is in position, so nothing saved. Yeah, fortunately, they didn't fully commit to the mid-push. They're not out of position. 
And even Hunter, who was most aggressive, player, is now back in connector. They're still losing players. It's frozen. And it comes out first. He's going to land headshots. He's going to put Mouse Sports in prime position to end it right here, right now. Hunter's got a little bit of an off angle, but whiffs through the smoke. There was a gap there. So open for him. Let me with the orc. Gonna get spotted by her ops, and Mouse Sports will be the champions. They'll take it 2 and 0. Oh. What a performance that was, Dust. Yeah, all the stars that needed to shine for Mouse Sports showed up when they needed to. The industry work of Frozen and Chris J in particular. Kerrigan, who normally is kind of taking that role, had a couple of off games, but luckily Chris J so first will be able to slide in and help create the space that Mouse Sports needed to march forward towards that trophy you'll see them raise in just a moment. Fantastic play from the entire lineup. Great shot calling throughout the event from Kerrigan. And this is now a new team that you're going to have to keep your eyes on. They were already nearing the top 10. But after this tournament victory, all that's left for them to do is prove it against the elite teams of the world. They're already a top 10 team in my book. Now it's about to see how far can they truly go. There's so much talent there. And who ends at the top? Who else but Mr. Mouse Sports, Mr. Versatile himself, Chris J. 23 plus kills, very impressive. I mean, the whole team performed well over the duration of this tournament. Yep. Another diamond in his chain, it's a milestone. And here they go, your DreamHack Park Champions!